Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Do a Level of Majesty Gold HD. Alright, let's dive into Quest for the Holy Chalice. Your Majesty's recent illness has taken its toll on the people. Their grief for your suffering only increases with sad news that your condition does not improve. It should now be clear to all that dark magics fuel this insidious ailment. I would not disturb your rest were it not for some hopeful news. The trusted old wizard, Rezenfell, told me of a relic, a chalice, containing incredible healing power. It is hidden somewhere in the realm. I implore you to send your heroes scouring the land in search of this holy chalice. It may be the only thing which can put an end to your illness. All right then. All right, recover the Holy Chalice within 30 days or your illness will consume you. There are rumors that a guild of mighty paladins resides somewhere in the countryside. If you find it, they may aid you. And beware, the lairs in this land never die. They just go dormant for a while. And I can't build any marketplace, which makes protecting the one I have really important. So I'll do that. Now, uh, I need a blacksmith. And that's if I can. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Build a marketplace there, and also build a rogue guild, uh, a ranger's guild, so I can start exploring. Now I'm given two trading posts at reasonable distance, so they will give me some money. But some money is not a lot of money. And since I am on a limited time. I need to explore this map as soon as I can. Now any caravans that spawn will of course reveal some land, but it is very likely that very few caravans will actually manage to get to me because of the roaming beasts. Still, we can hope, beyond all hope, that I manage to do it. Your Majesty, our new building is complete. And the Temple to Daurals will help keep the uh, location safe enough. Which isn't very safe, but well, we'll make do. But yeah, it is important that I don't lose the marketplace because if it's gone, I lose. Simple as that. Without it, I just don't have the financial pool uh, that I would get from the other buildings. Because while well, houses, for instance, generate a little bit of money and such, without a marketplace to spend their money, the heroes would just not give me as much enough gold as I want. Because only a percentage of what they find in the field actually goes, in, goes into my coffers. Which is a little bit of a snag. Alright. One caravan coming through, carrying a thousand gold. And another one carrying six hundred. Well, seven hundred almost. Very good. These guardhouses should keep them safe for a little bit longer. Now, the biggest thing I need to do on this map is basically explore as much as I can, as soon as I can. But that requires a great deal of money, because I will need to put down a lot of these uh, explorer flags. And with all the beasties crawling around, nothing is guaranteed. And I kind of want to upgrade my ca palace before I move on. Your 
I definitely need more heroes to keep all the beasties off me. Come on! See the rat? Kill the rat. Alright. There comes another set of caravans. And it's enough. At long last, a brave hero steps forward to defend the castle. Always so embarrassing if they died to the rat man. Never in the lore are rat men ever described as dangerous, mostly just annoying. Aside, of course, from King Rat. And I'm not pronouncing that name correctly, because there's a loads more R's in there, but... Well, we do what we can. Right now, I can't do a lot, because I don't have any money. But that should uh, be fixed soon, now that I have two tax collectors. I can probably start holding some tournaments on these fairgrounds to boost morale and also to keep my uh, heroes training. Your Majesty, shall we host a tournament now? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make it a combo tournament. Because I will be having loads of every kind of hero. So I can build a library and get every research a little bit cheaper. I don't suppose I could build a library now then. Nope, needs to finish. Ah oh, well, I can upgrade certain buildings perhaps. Uh, let's get some regular warriors on the field first. After all, I know just about what I'm looking for, but there's so much territory to cover. Alright, library. And let's actually, it should probably be closer to here. Yes, my minions. Go build. Go make this kingdom the greatest that there ever is and ever will be. We're about a week in now. Well, over a week now. So, it should all be nice. Yes, I love me some upgrades. Now I'll be very lucky if these uh, buildings res remain for the for the entire duration of the game. But I'm still to be hoping for it. Your trading post now offers healing potions. 
And there's very little reason to actually try and kill these because, like I, like the game said, they're just, they're just dormant. Uh, there might be an incentive in it for if I want to give my hitter some gold, but I might just well just do that with uh, exploration flags if I desperately need them to. And they get a decent amount of gold anyway from killing beasts. Well, I might take the elves, actually. They they behave much like rangers in that they will scour the land for something to explore and do. I don't have a particular heavy need for uh, defenses since the monsters are not that intent on killing me. They just don't like that I'm here, but they're not, they're not actively coming for my settlement. So, might as well get the elves. And I'm getting very lucky with the caravans getting through. Very lucky indeed. Yeah, go kill that if you want. Matters not to me. Just a little bit of money in the bank. Let's get the elves on the field. And I might as well get to the Temple of Acarella. Be useful. Give my hero some staying power. And they're relatively cheap too. 300 gold for a temple unit, that's very reasonable. And these buildings still stand. You do tend, sometimes tend to get very unlucky with trading posts in that these uh, sewer entrances keep spawning next to them, but I'm, like I said, I'm getting very lucky. Spawning right this close to my camp. Well, luck is relative in this case, of course. And it will not remain. Right, another warrior's guild, so I can have some paladins of my own. Your Highness, our research 
Alright, 13 days. Still, still some time. I like this combo a lot. <laughs> this hero will basically never die. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. All right. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. And now for the next level of heroes. Now upgrading the Temple of Agrella is actually a good idea because that'll give me blessing and resurrection. Which is useful if your heroes start dying by the bush. They're dying a lot. And they will. Well I found the other paladins. Good. Then they can join my paladins. And they're already decent level, so... Very good. Very good. And that was a caravan that died. game. First some very broad goals. Since I have no idea which hero will uh, go after these flags. I mean, it could be rangers, and it is most likely rangers. But given the circumstances of this scenario, other heroes, other heroes will also uh, butt in on the quests. <laughs> And while I don't really mind the uh, other heroes actually pitching in, the problem is mostly that I kind of prefer the rangers because they have a much wider field of view. And they tend to move much faster. A beholder, the evil Oculus. Yeah. No, there is a specific beast I'm looking for uh, that I can't really explain how what it looks like until I see it. But it patrols around a certain area. Ah, here it is, near the Holy Chalice resting place. 
I kind of need to make sure that I have everything in order before I start going after it. Because I want to go after it, but... We'll have to see about that next.